So today we continue with tutorial 12 and today we are going to be writing a function to return list of students uh, back to the control uh, back to the to the view right so in case you miss out something feel free to check this page is in the, the link is in the description box find this page and all the procedure is there for you if you make some mistakes in writing your codes maybe you can copy the code and paste it and see what mistakes you made so the first thing we want to do, we need to write the get all methods in the student service. Get all methods actually gets a list of students. Where is this list of students? It's available in the repository. Uh, and the function called find all in the repository uh, provides that for us. So we are going to go to, to write get all method in the student service. That is the first thing we are going to do. So this is a student service. Well, let's just try the method public. It returns list of students. Uh, get all right. That's that's the name of it. So it will simply return. It will simply get this thing from get this data from the repository. That's all. It is not doing much. So you say students repository dots so we can now see uh, we can look for find all it returns all the students in the database so control shift o on your keyboard you have given that if you tell that please fine so just cast these two list of students because they they the repository returns an iterable you can easily cast it to a list of students uh, by putting this cast expression at this point all right so in this controller, we write get all method as well with the same name as the one in the service, right? And it's going to call the method in the service to give us this uh, list. So you see how it goes. Uh, the service gets information from the from the repository, and the, the controller gets the information from the service. So that is how the layered architecture works. So let's go to the controller, and we are going to write a function public and this time uh, this method is going to be a string method yeah? it says right the get all method to return uh, a list of students so it's going to be a string method it's going to be a string because we don't want to return the list we want to return the page right so the HTML page we we send the list across into this page and return that page so the page is going to contain the list. So get all, and the get all is going to uh, get the list from the repository first. So we have list of students. We call it students, and we get this list of students from uh, equal to students service dot get all. I think that is it. So, control shift O on the keyboard. Yeah, so we have student service that gets all. So we have list of students available that we can put in the HTML page, right? Mm -hmm. So we return students, return students. Now, this student we are returning as a string is actually not a string. This student, sorry, I changed the name to student. Is going to be the name of the HTML page. So we are going to create a page called students.html that will be in the in, in tutorial testing that is going to contain the list of students. So if we are returning students, we are going to have a students.html page available to return. Um, and the next thing we want to do is to annotate this page at, at uh, request mapping. This time, we want to be uh, this mapping to be uh, get all. So get all. It means that if the, con uh, the, the uh, a user visits slash student slash get all. So slash student comes to the, the controller as a whole, but this particular function in here will be get all. So slash student slash get all will have to come here, and we are going to return a list of students. All right. All right. So. It's not exactly like what is in my website. So this model that I attribute that add 
uh, the add attribute actually is a way to sign the list to the HTML, but we are going to talk about it a little bit more later. So in the next class, we now set up the HTML page and see how it displays. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember, if you have challenges, let me know. And also, if you've not subscribed to my channel, subscribe right now and like my video if it's been informative for you.